Hello everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I'm your friendly neighborhood comic book scientist and a student of pressing and cleaning comic books. For those of you who know me, I'm, I'm gonna talk about something I've developed before. For those of you who don't know me, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, it's nice to meet you. So I have this ImmacuCube comic book cleaning station. It's like my dream for doing all sorts of cleaning and pressing work, or at least cleaning work in one. So. I've made some adjustments to it. I've added uh, so ozone input, ozone generation for mold killing, and I did some experiments and some updates. I tried, for example, to put mirrors around the inside of the cube. It ends up that it's, for my measurement techniques, it's within error. There's no really no measurable difference, maybe one or 2%, but not really. Uh, what really does make a difference, though, is having a high reflectivity mirror right around the source of the light and, and having multiple sources. Those really increase the intensity of the light signal at the actual book itself. And so uh, for like this light array here, there's a lot of, there are four times, uh, say 24 uh, lights, individual lights here, LED lights. And so these guys fit in this mirror here and it ends up that the reflectivity like right around the surface and I think it's mostly because of the lensing how it comes out and maybe comes you know a lot of it comes straight back like it makes a difference to have this fit tightly around the outside of it the, the mirror and this is a mirrored surface I'm trying not to like you can see that that's really reflective there it's silver it's silver by the way this is vapor deposited silver on the back of this acrylic and that really has super high reflectivity and that's where the, the profit comes in your reflection. Not to say that having mirrors everywhere don't increase a little bit, but the payoff drops down fast. So I'm just you know putting the, the energy where the the indicators are of that it responds. So that's why this looks this way. That's why those are tight fitted around. And because these things aren't exactly in the middle of the circuit board every time, there's a little bit of uh, room to put them in different locations. So also I've been looking for a really moldy book for a long time. I didn't have one for a while, but I got this Superman number four, which was super bad, <laughs> it's super moldy, super like you open it, this sort of really stinks. So um, I am cleaning, doing some mold remediation uh, on some experiments with my Mackie Cube. So I'll show those. I need to find some less expensive ozone generators, but the pumping and the mechanism and things seem to work really well. I'll show you. Two things here initially, in case you don't want to watch the rest of the video, I'll show you the before and after of where the, the area I was concentrating on removing the mold here. You can see that. And then what the pads look like. Well, I initially wiped a pad with some immaculate. I did get a little bit of mold up. It wasn't much, but I got a little. Uh, I'll show you after the treatment how much came up, even in the same area, which you'd expect to be slightly less since I'd already wiped it. Quite a bit came off, and so you can you can see that. The other, the other thing is I'm making a slightly larger Macu cube. Well, not slightly larger, it's quite a bit larger. It's, it's double the volume. It's so that you can lay the book you know, completely flat so that you don't have to do top and bottom like this if you don't want to, and then have to, um, because it's hard to do the interior pages if you can only do it, you'd have to turn it inside out right? if you really wanted to do the interior. But it's so large, and I didn't want my original Macu cube to be very expensive that way. but. And this sort of requires different plumbing and different boards and things. So I'll show you a few examples of how that's going. Uh, pressure sensor is still not going great. Calibration is the hardest part on that. But I wanted to show you those updates and give you an example of what the, the mold remediation looks like on this, this book here. But I will say that I had some of the lights on, the, the blue lights on during this, this test with the mold. It didn't need to be on and they made no, there's no visible difference in anything they did. It was only a few hours, so it didn't. It was of no consequence that way. I just had them on for fun. So uh, anyway, uh, I'll continue with the video here. I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll see you later. Take care, bye-bye. So this is a Superman number four. It's got a lot of black mold on it. Here, here with, the idea is to kill the black mold and to brighten up the book before we start cleaning it. This light on the bottom, you see it will come on. We have ozone, it starts with a pump, it feeds the ozone chamber, it goes through a tube here, it prints out here, and it comes out the other side, it fills this up, so we're going to put this book in here. We have another set of lights in the top here, so like that. And we're going to put it 
both sets of lights on the bottom. There. Put that hook in. And then we're going to plug in the other one. on like this and then go ahead and show it down here. That's it. Okay, we're done. I forgot to mention earlier that the main thing we want to relieve with the mold is the smell and the appearance of the mold. And here I'm checking after I shut it off if it smells like ozone in the chamber, which it does, which I know will stop the mold smell. And it, it certainly did later, did not smell moldy at all. So about three and a half to four hours later, I removed the book. It looks about the same. It doesn't look much different. I would say the mold looks maybe slightly lighter, but maybe that's just my camera. This area looks identical. I don't think there's any difference at all, but that's it. We'll try to clean the mold. should come off a lot easier now that it's dead. This is the frit. It seems to be in place. Nothing bad's happened to that to diffuse the gas. Check for color fastness and mold removal with a little Amaki Clean. I'm going to rub some on this pad. Just wipe it here and see if the color stays and the mold comes off. And yep, get some mold off. No yellow, lots of mold. Sorry, this is difficult one-handed. My videographer was sleeping in today, but I wiped this with a little Amaki Clean and just demonstrate that, uh, that this mold's coming up. That's all I did. I did this for, gosh, maybe three minutes, not very long and then let it dry to get the before and after pictures that I'll show you next. So first, please notice this initial and final image on the left, which is the area I concentrated on for just a few minutes that I worked on this book for the mold. It's easy to see optically that a lot of the dark stuff, which is mold, is gone. I'll go over the whole book the same way and, and get a lot of that off. It'll take a few trials to get all the mold off and you'll never well, I'll, all is a kind word it's not it's never all going to come off you'll be able to see shadows of where it was i think one of the more interesting things is that it will smell a lot better it it was pretty pungent it was it was i would say almost rancid's not too strong of a word to to smell the smell of this book when i first got it and a few hours of this ozone treatment and it, it smells a lot better and the you know, it looks about the same except for that mold is is I think dead it does something to it it's it may have been dead forever I don't know but it, it's coming off a lot easier and that was aligned with my expectations it's it's usually that way I'll have to go over this a few times probably to get it reduced as as much as possible and I'll do that I'll do it around the whole book of course you can see on the pad on the right is uh, the first one the pad on the left of the right image, the pad on the left was one where I wiped with the Mackie Clean on the mold before the ozone treatment, and you know, so I'm, I'm a little came off, right? It was a tiny bit, but not a lot. Same area after was you know replete, just like a ton of mold came off after the, the treatment, and you know maybe it could be possible that in this particular case that just soaking in with the Mackie Clean on it for a few hours and then rewiping made it come off easier, but. It's in alignment with my expectations that putting the ozone on the book really helps to, but A, for sure helps get the smell down, but also it, the mold comes up quite a bit easier. Uh, and, and I could have wiped it with water, I just had a Mackie clean around and that helped. So that that's really good and it, it's helpful in alignment with my expectations. And I will be sourcing some ozone generators in the future to add to the Mackie cube. Right now they're, they're more than the Mackie cube. So, they're not really uh, financially something that I think I'm ready, we're ready for yet, but at least scientifically the, the stuff works. Now we'll switch gears a little bit and talk about the, I don't know what we're gonna call this. I, I'm not even really in love with the name Immacu Cube that much, but the larger Immacu Cube. Uh, so Immacu Tesseract or something, we'll call this one. It's a, a slightly bigger one and, and just a little sneak peek into some development on that. One idea is this, larger box and it would have the pump off to the side with two nozzles arranged like this. It needs to be secured to the wall, which I'm working on a securing mechanism. And it would have one solid washing board instead of a folding washing board. And the idea is that you can then expose your book to light without having to do it in while well, the cover is folded. And this will also allow some flexibility in the spray streams. 
in, in alignment so you can have these the other one has this too of course but this still allows flexibility so you can move the way the streams can go and using less material at the same time so that we could lower the price of the pump unit itself so that's the idea behind that part of it the idea in this larger box is that you can put light on the book when it's open and we're going to produce a washing board that sits lower it'll be more solid won't have the hinges and it'll sit lower the book the idea is that the book will sit not folded like this but rather open like this and you'll have lights on the bottom and the top at the same time of course this is much larger we'll have a port for the ozone generator on the left and all of the mechanisms for the pumping and the lights will go through this little gap here in this area that you see we'll put some glands or some some pass-throughs right here and I'll show you in a minute how much bigger this one is than the other one so you see here the large this will be the larger Mackie cube the 10 gallons look how much larger it appears than the small one you know uh, I think that the idea might be to have people source their own larger container to save on shipping costs because I don't want to sell you things you can get anywhere so that's the idea is to make a larger one and a smaller one in the future because it's inevitable that someone will ask I'm uh, just showing you the before and after there's not much difference in the before and after. There's almost nothing really on the cover of this book I will admit that I wiped down very lightly with a Mackie clean the logo in the yellow area to check for color fastness so the part that says Superman in spring edition was wiped one time quickly with a Mackie clean but otherwise I would say it looks pretty much the same before and after really no difference due to the the ozone treatment so far well that's pretty much it folks uh, stay tuned I'm cleaning yet another Hulk 181 here soon I'll, I'll walk you through that with the Mackie cleaning cleaning and pressing process next uh, please uh, I hate asking but please like and subscribe I think I've gained like maybe one subscriber in the last month so that's that's probably my bad because I've been traveling so much and I haven't made a lot of videos I am going to be traveling again soon I'm going to Texas uh, next week for anybody who lives in the Houston area give me a shout out maybe we'll grab a cup of coffee and then the following week I will be in North Carolina in Raleigh Durham at the uh, SAS headquarters there for statistical uh, software and then I'll be in at the CDC campus uh, in Emory near Emory University on Thursday and Friday uh, the following week so if you happen to live in those areas give me a shout out say hello I started sort of announcing where I'm going so I can meet new fun and interesting people while I'm while I'm out and about and again I'll be in the UK uh, the first half of next month and the first, last few days of, of September I'll be in Aberdeen in Scotland so uh, see you guys around uh, take care bye bye I hope you enjoy the video later Gators